is over. Shoot the Breeze topic number five tonight is buying and building globally. This comes with a link as well. I believe it's a video. Yeah. Uh, let's check it out. And on the other side, we'll have a discussion. going on everybody this is afro think tank today i'm going to show you something i'm going to show you how simple it is and how simple the paperwork is to buy land and build a house uh you know how thick paperwork is in america just to to buy a house you got hundreds and hundreds of papers just to buy a house hundreds and hundreds of papers and i imagine Buying land in, in, in America is the same way. Hundreds and hundreds of pieces of documentation that says what? We don't know. It's a whole bunch of lawyer mumbo jumbo, probably some way to where they can steal it, take it back, do whatever. All sorts of trickery to make it difficult for us to do anything, you know, when it comes to managing our land or when they want to come and do something. There's some stipulation in page 5,678 um, freaking section four and all that crap. Very complicated. And I know that in other countries, and um, I don't know, and in, in, in maybe like that in other countries in Africa, I know in Ghana, you can't you can't technically buy land or own it, but you can, but you can lease it for like 100 years. I'm not sure how to work, but I know it's something like that. And I know some other African countries is like that. I don't know how it is in the Gambia about purchasing land. I don't know how complicated it is. But one thing, uh, you know, for sure is in Nigeria is very, 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 very simple. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to blur out a lot of the information because obviously, you know, showing documents, you know, can be very risque because there's a lot of information on there. And, uh, and I, one thing about me is even though I'm putting myself out there to show you guys a little bit of information, I still have to maintain a level of privacy. That's why when people ask me, hey, where exactly are you? I'm never going to tell you. I'll tell you I'm in a kitty, but I'm not going to tell you exactly where I am because that's stupid. When people ask me, when am I going somewhere or when I'll be somewhere, I'll never tell anybody exactly when I'll be there or when I'm going because that's stupid. Rule number one, never tell people when you're going somewhere, uh, exact dates. And rule number two, never tell anybody exactly where you are because you don't, I don't know, to be honest, I, I, you know, I love my subscribers, but I don't know, I don't know y'all. All right. And y'all, some of y'all may be crazy. All right. And we know in, in history has shown that there are crazy people out there that will pop up on you. All right. People you don't know that will pop up on you. So I hope you guys appreciate, you know, me walking this edge to show y'all a little something, something, how simple it is, how simple the paperwork is when it comes to purchasing land. OK. OK, as you can see, this is the property residential building. This is the blueprint of the house that I had built. Obviously, I blocked out some information, but you can see my name right there at the top and the consultant right there at the bottom. This is the, big, the front of the page right here. As you can see here, these are the blueprints of the house. Everything is um is up, up to code, you know. Everything is um approved by the local government and all regulatory bodies. I mean, everything's legit. There's no, you know, there's no half ass in this. This is a straight up and down, um, proper business right here, here in Nigeria. Very simple blueprint of the house that I got built. Okay, at the top left, that's the chief magistrate, the one who facilitated the sale, and top right, that is the, the owner of the land that I purchased from. So that's the owner right there. As you can see, there's my name, Anthony Carter, and you can clearly read that I am the legitimate and actual owner of this land. So this purchase was very simple and straightforward, as you can tell right here. And finally, to seal the deal, you have the chief magistrate, the owner and myself right here. We signed our, our names and that's that's it. That is the purchase of the land. So I got the land, you got the house, and it's just that simple, guys. Just that simple. Now look at this. Look how thin that paperwork is. Look how thin that paperwork is. That's the per that's the per that's the building of my house and the purchase of my land. That's the total documentation. That's how simple it is to purchase land in Nigeria, right there. That is ridiculous. That's crazy, isn't it? Simple, easy. Okay, so as you can see, it was very simple. Very straightforward, simple documentation, not a lot of 
extra over the top lawyer jargon. It's like, hey, I want to sell this land. I'm selling it to this person. This is how much it costs. He paid me. I, I it's his land now. Stamp sealed delivered. Chief magistrate is yours. Boom. That simple. Land. There you go. You saw it. Blueprint. This the house. These the measurements. This the one person go home and do it. That simple. That's simple. And then you saw how thin that paperwork was like that. All right. So even though you saw how heavily edited, you know, look, I ain't y'all don't need to know all my biz wax. I'm just trying to help out. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't tracking me. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that uh, gave you all some value. I hope that I hope that um, gave you a sense of how simple it is to purchase land in Nigeria to get a house built in nigeria and you see how legitimate it is these are companies like any other company you know they you know very professional you know everything's legitimate legal no no hanky panky no funny business you know a lot of stuff going on over there in the gambia all right it ain't like that over here all right nigeria is simple man they they do business here all right it's all about they do square business here for real i mean for all the corruption that you hear about here in nigeria there's corruption in every country there's no more corruption in Nigeria than there is in any other country. It's just that just like they stereotype and they, and they, and they like to bad mouth, you know, uh, African-Americans in America and everybody believe this and that. They also stereotype Nigeria. People love to stereotype Nigeria. That everything's corrupt and blah, 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 blah. No, these people do business. It's just that just like in any place else, there is corruption like in any other country. Every country has people that are corrupt. But for the most part. Doing business in Nigeria is pretty easy, guys. All right. So that's all I want to say now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out. You're listening to D -D -D DJ DJ Afro Think Tank. Thanks for watching. Like. Yeah, I wish um, Gassim Up was here, being um, he's from that area called Nigeria. Uh, shout out to Gassim Up, too, by the way. Um, I'm Brother Bakari. Um, I guess Tan's Island is probably gone. Uh, Kevin Carre, Shooter Be Software Number Five is buying and building globally. What did you get from that video? I'm inspired. <laughs> and that's been on my mind anyway. You know, that's what we got to do. We can't stay here much longer. It's it's not for us, man. It, we, you know, it's not it's, it's not for us here. We got to build, as you said about, you know, the prop with the lady from Colombia, you know, talking about our brothers and sisters all over the world. That's what we got to do. We got to start building from now. And land is cheap all over the world. Well, African world, black world. Thank you for that. Let's get that's um let's hear from Oni this time. Oni, what say you? I kind of wish I knew how much he uh, uh he paid. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, and what was he saying about Gambia? Like, what? I thought, I didn't know something about Gambia. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm actually, I'm, oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I got to find out about that mic. I don't know what's on my mic. It dropped one day. And I'm surprised you guys can hear stuff when it's new to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing nothing inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but, uh, but uh, yeah, what was it? Uh, um, yeah, I was. I, I wish I. I wish I. I mean, like, I wish I knew what he, what he was talking about. But like, yeah, buying land, like, it's good for that brother to just go out there, get some land, get a home for himself. But that's what I was planning on doing too, just getting myself some property, you know. Mm -hmm. And I like that he's kind of, you know, quiet about it. You know, I would wait for after the project is built because that's yeah. that, you know, like you can't take into account. Like a lot of times, people are quick with the paperwork and it's slow. With the work, you know, um, you know they quick to they quick to get your payment, but they slow to you know provide the service. And you know we all we all experience that, sure, right? But um, yeah, I mean I would just stay tuned. But that's like that's legit what we should be doing, like, going through, getting land, setting up shops, setting up base, and like I said, you know eventually get ourselves some political power if we can, or something really in politics. But but for real, like we are. You know, wasting away in the West. You know, like people were talking about, oh, the brain drain of Africa. You know, it's not even like a brain drain. It's like when we were younger, you know, the, what was it, the United Negroes College Fund 
had a commercial where it's like, our mind is a terrible thing to waste. Right. And like, that's what we're doing. You know? Like, at the end of the day, if we are, ju- if our mind is solely at the employ of these white boys, we are wasting our money. You know? Like, we didn't, we didn't follow the commercial at all. I mean, even though the commercial was trying to push us to do this, but still, we didn't follow the commercial at all because, like, like it's legit. A mind is telling us the ways. We really should be using our minds properly. Yeah, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, um, I, I heard from Kevin Carey. I heard from, from, did I hear from Jay on this one yet? I don't think so. Jay, yes. what say you? Uh, uh, I, I, I follow uh, Afro Think Tank, mm-hmm. and um, he he actually he actually is his his house is already built. He he, he even has a small shop in uh, in the village uh, nearby, and uh, he's 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 really uh, making it uh, look easy, uh, uh, confident. You know, he's 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 confident and 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 trying to build confidence like. Um, uh, uh, you know, inviting inviting other other mainly African Americans mm-hmm. uh, uh, to 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 do the same to 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 buy into freedom to move into freedom uh, and and um, and he's he's still based in uh, in the, the the United States so he he ping pongs uh, between uh, the U S and, and Nigeria and he does his his thing and it 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 all looks uh, he makes it looks easy uh, he's he. He makes it, you know. He looks happy and 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 uh, and fulfilled by 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 doing it, uh, uh, you know. Uh, so so uh, uh, it, yeah. Uh, cheers cheers to uh, to to Af- Af- Afro think tank. Uh, the 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 thing about uh, Gambia that that I think he's referring to. Uh, I um, I frequent uh, Gambia or or you know. Uh, the part, the part of Senegal, south of uh, south of Gambia, and sometimes I fly to Gambia and then and then drive to to, to Senegal. And I, I've met I've met some people in, involved, uh, unwillingly involved in in, in 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 what I think he referred to, and, and that's and that's uh, scammers. There there uh, 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 a few a few um, repatriates uh, uh, scam other other you know they invite others to uh, others to come to africa and, and to come v- via them and and they, they yeah there's 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 been some scamming uh you know about but uh, but it eventually it, it it will come to surface uh, uh uh a lot of a lot of the times it's it's uh incompetence it's uh, it's dreamers uh dreaming of of saving uh saving our people but but actually are incompetent and and maybe even uh, yeah uh, maybe even also uh, there there's some hidden uh, hidden uh, narcissists uh, over there in in the Gambia, but it it, it will come to surface at, at this point it's coming to the surface a, a bit ugly a bit ugly but but finally uh, finally uh, yeah it, I, I think I think there's an, there's there eventually there there will come an end to it with with. Um, with the, the revealing of uh, of uh, of someone with a with a personality di- disorder behind behind a lot of uh, of of the of the um, of the issues in in uh, in Gambia regarding uh, repatriates and and owning land, but but uh, you know the, the the world outside doesn't know exactly what what was happening. So so I I, I guess. Uh, um, him referring to the Gambia was uh, was uh, was not necessary. It was not necessary. I appreciate that, Jay. Let's welcome in Brother Bukari. Brother Bukari, how are you this week? What's up, Koku? Everybody on the panel, everybody in the chat. I'm great, man. I'm great. Okay. How about you? I'm great. I'm great. It sounds like you're driving. Yeah, I just cranked up. I'm listening. I, I I just had an opportunity to turn it on, oh, so now I'm in. I don't even know what the last video was about, so right now I'm listening. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I'll get back to you on the next prom then. All right. All right. Uh, Mr. Untouchable, what say you to this? Hey, Bakari, Mississippi. You late, Mississippi. You late. 
you late. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I, 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 here, here's the thing, Coco. I know a few um, um, young millionaires in, in the Bahamas, right? Mm -hmm. I know a few of them, but I am trying to convince these brothers, <laughs> you know what I mean, that there is a world that exists outside of 21 by 7 Bahamas. And it's very difficult because these brothers and them, they don't they don't go on these social media. They don't they don't be into internet and the things that I you know that I interested in. You know they would say, well, you know, Cohen, you know, we'll invest, we'll invest. But I'm I'm trying to broaden that scope because these brothers they fly planes, they have their own commercial plane, they have their own little planes and and this and that. And I'm thinking to myself, man, you the dollar in the Bahamas is one to one. You could own acres of land. In, in Africa, you know, and it's like, it's very difficult to convince these brothers because it's like, I don't have their money to take them, to show them, this is what you could get with this investment, with this this bag you sitting on. You know what I mean? You could double it and multiply it, but with, with our people, you know, it's very difficult for them to think outside of the box that they was born into, man. It's just very difficult and it's, it's break my heart Maybe I need to show them some videos sometimes, but I am try I am trying to convince the people the who I know who have the the financial um, muscle to be able to make make these kinds of moves and serious differences in these these um other places in the world. But it's just it's difficult because some of our people are limited, and I'm just trying to broaden their their, their scope of the world. The, it's the world is bigger than Nassau. The world is bigger than the Bahamas, man. The world bigger than the Bahamas, you know what I mean? The world bigger than America. True. So it's, it's just difficult. It's just difficult. But I, I understand what these brothers trying to do globally. And it's just the onus is really on people like me who have who have um, who are in spaces, who have the ability to maybe possibly uh convince the brothers in my community that hey, let's do something, let's try some, let's try this. Let's try this. You know what I mean? So it's just the onus is on me, you know, and I understand that. But but I, I appreciate um Afro Think Tank and, and doing what he does. You know, I, I feel like we are at a, a you know, they had a gold rush in California back in the day where a lot of people, when they came into American territories, they went to California and to discover their gold and, and get their um their um their fortune. I feel like we we are uh, go ahead. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I feel like we we are at a time where we are in that space right now, and and that space won't be here forever. So I think that we should embrace this gold rush for Africa because I don't want the Chinese to get it all. I feel like we should have some of our inheritance, our natural inheritance, you know. So you know, but that's that. When I see this video, you know, this this these are kinds of the issues that spark up in my mind that I need to be a better convincer. In 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 a, in convincing the brothers that I know who have the financial muscle to make some moves, you know, but that's why I am with it. Yeah, uh, I like what I see from Afro Think Tank, man. He's not just talking it, but he's doing it. I, I like like only though. I wish he would have, you know, given us an idea of like what the costs were as well, you know, just just to kind of, you know. Get every, get everyone up to full speed, you know, and not just part. If there's no um, if there's no uh, thoughts, well, maybe Tanzan is here. Is Tanzan here? Yes, yes, I am. Tan, did you happen to see that video just now from Afro Think Tank? Um, no, but I know that he does put uh, quite a lot of good stuff. Yeah, he basically was showing how simple it was to purchase land and build a home in nigeria compared to the paperwork and all that and and the monies like in america oh uh, yeah i mean it's it's really very much more easier if you if somebody's really serious about purchasing land mm -hmm. um actually getting land and there are risks in every situation every transaction you know if you don't know what you're doing and you know, you might just get, and this is something that's even happened to people who are from there, you know, you have to know it, what you're getting into before you get into it. But 
on the whole, it's way, way easier and much cheaper to buy land um, as an American going into Africa than vice versa. You know, I don't even know how easy it is to own land in America, but it's not that easy. Not so, very. yeah, so um, sometimes it's we do limit ourselves to what we have instead of seeing the whole picture that, you know, if Black Americans are really serious about getting land, don't just limit yourself to the land where you are know that they are lands outside of, of your, your borders. And so I think that's, um, that's one lesson that we have to learn that it don't just look, be, be, you know, just where you are. The, we, we are a global people and you might find opportunities somewhere other than where you thought that they were. So, yeah. Thank you for that, Tan. That was the... That was the uh, fifth topic tonight. I'm going to post topic number six, but we're going to do a station ID break before we discuss it. Uh, in fact, you know what? Before I do that, let me do this here too. I wanted to shout out Afro Native World, who was in the chat tonight. I don't know if he's still there, but I um, just want to put this out there on his behalf. He tweeted this earlier. They have a book club on um, on um, Obadale Kamban site, um, a BB Tubi. Um, they have a book club there, and they're beginning a discussion tomorrow. I think yeah, I, th I think that's tomorrow on this book in Bongi. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, an African traditional political institution by K. Kia. Bonseki Fukia, uh, PhD, a Eureka to the African Crisis. I have this book, and I've and I've never cracked it open, uh, and I had a, you know high hopes for it too. Um, but they're starting that discussion. So if you're on abb2me.com, uh, you could look them up, and uh, you could join in on that discussion over there. So I just want to put that out there. Shooter Breeze topic number six will be um, do step daddy and baby daddy have the same responsibility toward a baby mama? That's going to be the topic on the other side. Let's do a station ID break just to remind you guys that this show is part of, of a podcast.